I'll show you how it's done. Reinhardt is back, and this time with a powerful Brave Sword instead of his usual Dire Thunder magic. Coming on the same Road of Thracia banner as Leaf, a lot of people were more excited to get Reinhardt than the main protagonist, and honestly it's not just because of the memes. I'll be referring to this version of Reinhardt as Sword Reinhardt because Road of Thracia or WT Reinhardt isn't that clear, considering the original version of Reinhardt is also just from Thracia 776. Anyway, Sword Reinhardt makes his appearance with a pretty solid stat line for a Red Sword Cavalier. He has 40 HP, 35 attack, 23 speed, 31 defense, and 28 resistance. This is actually pretty similar to his stat line for his mage version, but he has some extra stats because he isn't under the ranged BST penalty. He's got great attack, a pretty horrendous speed stat, and actually surprisingly okay physical and magical bulk. As for his base kit, Sword Reinhardt wields his Meister Schwert, and to avoid embarrassing myself the entire video, I'll just be referring to it as the Master Sword, which is roughly its English translation from German. This thing is an absolute monster, probably one of the most powerful legendary weapons, just like his Dire Thunder Tome. I'll talk about how it works in just a bit. The rest of Reinhardt's base kit is actually pretty good for the most part. Pavis lets Reinhardt take less damage, but let's be honest, I know all of you are just going to replace it with a damage special. His A skill is Death Blow, and you gotta thank Good Guy Intelligent Systems for saving everyone from sacrificing a 4 star Klein. Vantage is actually not bad on this version of Reinhardt, and honestly combined with the Master Sword, it might be his most important skill. Last, Reinhardt has Spur Attack slash Defense, which is a good combination, and I believe this is the first time we've seen it, although I wouldn't exactly recommend sacrificing Reinhardt if you only have one copy. For preferred natures, plus attack is obviously the best choice, and you'll figure out why when I talk about the Master Sword. Plus defense is also actually not that bad, since even if Reinhardt gets attacked twice, maybe he can stave off death, and he can also be built pretty defensively. For Banes, minus speed is probably the best, since 23 speed, minus 5 from the Master Sword really isn't worth saving, Minus res is also okay, but it is a super bane as a warning. Basically, plus attack is golden just like Mage Reinhardt, however, minus attack isn't the end of the world, and I have one build in particular that you can try out. Now let's talk about the Master Sword in more detail because it's kind of a crazy weapon. It has 11 might, making it 3 points stronger than a normal Brave Sword. It still has the usual minus 5 speed penalty, however its second effect is simply stated as unit attacks twice. This is different than a normal Brave weapon where the unit only attacks twice when initiating, and to make sure you know it's different, the end game description does state for us that yes, even when the enemy initiates combat, the Reinhardt will still attack two times. This is different than a follow up attack, and simply, anytime Reinhardt makes an attack, he will always be hitting two times back to back, no matter what. If he were to get a follow up attack, then he will be hitting four times. Now the Master Sword works insanely well with Vantage. When Vantage procs, Reinhardt hits two times before the enemy makes their attack. Sometimes you can afford to let the enemy hit you first with a Vantage proc, however with Reinhardt's high base attack and his 11 might sword, now it's not so safe to just let him hit you two times first. With high attack and attack buffs, Reinhardt can be deadly on the player phase and also on the enemy phase when he dips in the Vantage range. Even without Vantage, he can still be a pain because remember, he attacks two times any time he makes a move, and if you give him quicker post, then Reinhardt becomes the only unit in the entire game who can get a quad attack on the enemy phase, which is pretty scary. Now mind you, he isn't unkillable, but you have to make sure you have a way to take him out before he can dish out too much damage. If you run a squishy team, Sword Reinhardt is going to be very annoying if you let him attack you. Now for the rest of this video, I will be going over a ton of different build paths for Sword Reinhardt, and that's mainly because he is just so versatile on how you can build him. I'll be covering builds focused on the player phase, the enemy phase, as well as talking about skills you can mix and match for effectiveness on either phase. First up is Reinhardt's base kit with some add-ons. Deathblow 3 only works on the player phase, and Vantage only works on the enemy phase, meaning Reinhardt gets some effective skills for any time he gets into a fight. If you add in Heavy Blade as a Sacred Seal, Reinhardt can use Moonbow and always be able to proc it if he procs Heavy Blade. Now keep in mind, Reinhardt's attack will be slightly lower because his sword isn't a 16 might legendary weapon. However, with very easy access to a Hone Cavalry buff, I think he can have a very respectable amount of attack, even more so when he initiates with Death Blow. Heavy Blade can work on both phases, so if you keep Reinhardt buffed up, then he has a chance to use it during Vantage procs as well. Do keep in mind that for pretty much every build, the C skill slot is very flexible. I'm going to leave it as his base spur attack slash defense, but feel free to swap in a Horse Emblem team buff if you intend to use him in one. Next, let's talk about some player phase driven builds, and this one is focused on allowing Reinhardt to one shot at least one enemy. Chill defense can be brutal because minus 7 defense is really good when you consider Reinhardt is making 2 attacks, which means he benefits twice as much from that debuff. This build is basically just abusing Reinhardt's classic quick and pulse and moonbow combo for a guaranteed moonbow proc, but for Arena, sometimes all you need is that one kill. 
This could be something you set up for a defense team, and Cho defense would definitely be bad for the other player if they aren't using a decently tanky blue unit. For the next build, we give Reinhardt Desperation and pair it with the Brash Assault Sacred Seal to allow for a very devastating quad attack if Reinhardt can get low on HP. If you aren't familiar with this combo, it's quite risky because it only works when the unit is below 50% HP and Reinhardt is so slow that he will get doubled by pretty much everything and if he can't kill his opponent with his counterattack, there's a decent chance he will go down. For this reason, we use Fury 3 because while it has 3 less attack than Death Blow, we want to use the 6 recoil damage after every fight to lower Reinhardt's HP safely. Trust me, we won't be caring about 3 attack when Reinhardt is hitting the enemy 4 times in a row. Also, if you're going to be quad attacking, it's best to take a 3 turn special like Draconic R or Luna since those will always proc on the 4th hit or earlier. Without Vanish, this build sacrifices a lot of enemy phase power, but Reinhardt gains immense KO potential against melee targets on the player phase. Now we'll move on to a few enemy phase builds. This one is basically just the opposite of Death Blow because we use Fierce Stance to gain extra attack when initiated on. Again, the reason Vantage is so good with the Master Sword is that Reinhardt can dish out a lot more damage with his two hits than most units will be able to in one hit. By further increasing his attack, we improve just how much damage Reinhardt can retaliate with, and even at full HP, assuming Reinhardt doesn't just actually get one shot, he will counterattack with these two powerful hits. This build is pretty risky, and you do sacrifice a bit of power in the player phase, but it's really just something you don't want to be facing against if you do not have a unit who can tank Reinhardt's attack. This next build may be something those of you with a minus attack Reinhardt might want to look into. It's a set focused on using quick repose, and I just want to remind you guys that Reinhardt has a decent 31 base defense. A plus defense nature can bring this up to 34, and skills like the sturdy stance and close defense bring this up to 44 defense against melee units, and that's before any other ally buffs. You don't need something like sturdy stance, especially if you can just pass Reinhardt a fortify cavalry buff. However, keep in mind Reinhardt is going to get doubled a lot, so a higher defense stat means he can hopefully tank any two hits that come his way. Quick Repose is the shining star of this build because it allows Reinhardt to hit back 4 times and you can charge a 4 turn special like Ignis and proc it as long as the enemy hits you one time. Even with minus attack nature, Sword Reinhardt still has 32 base attack and 43 attack with his weapon. With access to Horse Emblem team buffs, you can patch it up pretty easily and 3 attacks plus an Ignis proc is going to be pretty deadly to a lot of things. He may not be able to tank hard hitting lance units, but anything red or green is going to have a very bad time. Finally, let's talk about Distant Counter. Now if you've played this game for any amount of time and have adventured into the arena, you've experienced the pain of Distant Counter plus Vantage. Well, it only gets worse with Master Sword Reinhardt. You can build Reinhardt to tank mages thanks to his actually pretty decent 28 base resistance, but why do that when you can have Master Sword plus Distant Counter plus Vantage? First off, with 40 HP and 28 resistance, even slightly lower with Banes included, a red or blue mage is still going to need a ton of attack to one-shot Reinhardt. If they can't kill him in one blow, then they have to face the wrath of two hits from the Master Sword, and I don't know about you guys, but there aren't a ton of mages who can take that kind of retaliation. Even if Reinhardt gets low on HP, Vantage will proc, and now any squishy ranged units are basically screwed. If they can't tank two hits from Reinhardt or aren't running Hardy Bearing, then most highly offensive ranged units who don't focus on defense are gonna die. This setup is definitely not unbeatable, especially when Dire Thunder Reinhardt and Brave Lynn can both mess up this build and easily take him out. Here I just wanted to include a few skills that I haven't mentioned, but I think are good options to slot in for any of the builds we've covered. I like reposition for most of my cavalry units, but swap can be good if you go a tanky build. Luna is always fantastic for brave weapons, and Sword Reinhardt may not have a high enough defense or resistance for your liking to use Bonfire or Iceberg. Life and Death 3 can be an option for an A skill because it grants 5 attack for use on either phase, but the extra speed is mostly wasted and lowering his defense and resistance opens him up to getting killed faster. Swordbreaker can be very good because pretty much every other sword unit will double him and he can then quad tankier enemies like armored units. Defense Smoke is going to be a pretty hard to get skill, but as we mentioned with chill defense, any defense debuffs on the enemies will have a lot of value because Reinhardt is always attacking 2 times. Last, I didn't mention Quick Repost in the Sacred Seal slot, but that is an option as well and you can run it with Vantage or Swordbreaker in the B slot. Feel free to use any of these skills where you want, and if I miss something that works really well for Sword Reinhardt, please do mention it in the comments. Before we end this video, I just want to talk about one final build, and that is one using Distant Counter plus Vantage and double Savage Blow skills. This is a build Jafar or Pain plus healers can run, they just use Close Counter instead. The idea is to let Reinhardt charge into a group of enemies, apply Savage Blow, and then take out everyone using Vantage when he drops low on HP. 
as we talked about earlier, the Master Sword grants a ton of KO potential against Squishies because it always hits twice. With double Savage Blow skills dropping enemy health by a flat 14 HP, we are hoping Reinhardt will be able to KO even more than just Squishy units. This could be a fun build for rival domains and Grand Conquest, where sometimes you really just need to take out a ton of enemies when getting close to the enemy fortress. I do think swapping out one Savage Blow skill for Defense Smoke might be even better, and as always, you want to be buffing up Reinhardt's attack as much as possible. A fun build for PvE, but that's about all I would expect from it. That's going to be it for this video, and hopefully you guys can get some ideas for how to build Sword Reinhardt. Honestly, his base kit will do just fine, and even though I don't think many people are going to use Pavis, I can see how it could work thanks to Reinhardt hitting twice, all the time, and charging up his special. If you have a build that works for you, then please share with everyone in the comments and also tell me your thoughts on this new version of the Reinhardt. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.